Now these ones are called light and optical, so they're going to use shadows and lights. Kind of more like uh, opacity is getting uh, changed in some of them, but there you go. Mechanical. Kind of like a machine is uh, being used to put these guys on. There's bad reception. Things that deal with uh, things that things that deal with machines, I guess. So this one's like a TV. Pistons. I guess yeah, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But that's a machine-related uh, text effects. We got miscellaneous here which there's just going to be a bunch of random stuff so you'll just have to come in and see if there's anything you like in here I'll go on to the next one because this one's not easy to explain multi-line so if you have uh, several lines of text there you go and there we go that's uh, multi-lines of text organic is um, things that like kind of like flow in nicely I guess so these ones are moving in like a more organic kind of way organic usually means like alive pretty much in uh, visual effects so you've got things that are like mechanical that move in a very set pattern like up and down or left and right and then you got things that are organic that move around and, and uh, in like a more alive fashion paths um, these are gonna follow a path so I'm sure these will come in with a uh, path on, w included with them so let's go to the next one rotation and I'm sure you guys guessed that uh, these things just rotate around it's so like something like this I don't really know when you would use it maybe in like a circus or something like that who knows let's go to scale and you probably realize that they're just gonna scale up or scale down or whatever easy enough and all these things can be created using your animation properties um, with the animation text and tracking so I mean this seems to be like um, the amount of space in between the letters is what this uh, tracking seems to mean so they get closer together or further apart so that's it for your text presets and then you can find other presets in here also I mean I'm not gonna go all of them right now but there's the uh, color correction presets that I added in before and um, we won't be able to see them on any footage because they are not they don't have a video preview file associated with them like the text does but um, things like the sound effects don't have a video pre preview file so we can't grab them either so um, all I'm sure of right now is the uh, the text I didn't really go through all these because I haven't been in um, the abridged program in a, in a little while but you guys can use this to view what After Effects presets there are and um, just mess around with it and see what's got going on now I'll go over a bridge at another time but I just wanted to show you the text presets because we've been going over them recently so you can always create those presets on your own when you click on this animate button and add any of these things in there like the tracking will be right here and then we have like organic which will use like your different uh, trans or, uh, your different transform uh, properties here and then you got your fill and stroke one that you can create any of these things on your own so just uh, when you bring them in you can always edit them and we have gone over how to use the this anime and how to use the uh, different property selectors and the range selectors and the wigglies and all that stuff so put all your knowledge to good use to be a pro at using 
text uh, presets and be an a pro at using uh, typography. Go on the internet and look at what other people have done and get some nice inspiration and try to make something really cool like those guys have and uh, base your work off them and uh, even I mean you basing your work off of somebody else's text is not cheating or anything like that it's just making things better so well everybody thanks for watching this one and I uh, hope you have a good day today see you in the next tutorial bye bye